स्वाध्याय टीवी डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर हिरेन जोशी वेलकम्स यू वंस अगेन टू दिस क्रैश कोर्स ऑन एच टी एम एल इन लास्ट सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड दैट वॉट इज वेब एप्लीकेशन वॉट आर देर टाइप्स लाइक स्टेटिक वेब पेजेस एंड डायनेमिक वेब पेजेस देन वी कंसिडर वॉट सॉफ्टवेयर आर रिक्वायर टू डेवलप वेब एप्लीकेशंस देन वी कंसिडर अबाउट basics of html full form of html and we have consider few tags as we know the tags are known as a element also and tag can have attributes also a tag is always in pair tag starts in angle bracket and a tag close with slash and tag name so let's start with the next point of html just recap in last section we have consider our agenda that we introduction to web application softwares required this softwares include client side softwares or to develop any web application we may require web server as well as uh, server side scripting language like uh, for if you want to develop open source web application then we require vamp as a web server php is a server side scripting language mysql as a database and some editor and to view as a client side we may require any browser browser like uh, internet explorer chrome or mozilla firefox then we come to the html so as we know that html is a acronym for hypertext markup language and html is not case sensitive so either you write in small case or upper case or camel case or any other case it will be treated as a same then we as i say tags can be written in angle brackets and tags are generally written in pairs some uh, tags can be optional that you if you don't specify closing tag it will works fine as well in last session Uh, we have also described the page structure that html is a root tag and its closing tag inside html there is a head section or head tag inside head there should be title but this head and title are optional you can write directly with html and then come to the body tag inside body you write main content of your html pages inside body whatever your content that you should write then we consider that tag can have attributes also so it is optional tag can have attribute or tag cannot have attributes it's not required that each tag must have attributes then we consider head element head as a title and link and we take example that how you can describe title using title if you provide title it will display on the title bar of your browser same way if you provide link so link can be either css or favorite icon means favicon so through favicon you can display your pictures or any other pictures in the title bar of your uh, web pages now we consider body element so in body we discuss about background so background will shows background of your html page or you can provide some background color color of your text which is defined as a text attribute here the tag is body but its attribute is text and you define color and we discuss that color can be either constant name like red green blue etc or it can be defined as a hexadecimal value by providing hash and six digit of hexadecimal value first two digit represents red color value next two digit represents green color value and last two digit color uh, last two hexadecimal value represents blue color value so combination of this rgb value means hash and six 
digit of hexadecimal value will display a particular color. Next come to the headings. So, HTML provides many various types of headings. These headings started with tag h1 which is considered as the largest one and h2 is a smaller than h1, h3 is smaller than h2 and so on up to h6. Let us take a one simple example. For example, I will open my notepad as a by default editor to write a code. So, I first write html and I close that tag as a slash html. It is always good practice that when you open the tag immediately you should close the tag. So, you will never get the error that your tag has been closed uh, open, but not closed. So, it is always good idea that as you open the tag immediately close the tag and write in between whatever you want to write. Now, I write body tag without any attributes and inside that let me write h1. This is heading 1 slash h1. This is closing then I can write h2 you can write up to whatever value you like. Let us say for example, to make it simple, I just make copy paste the same code and here I define h3, h4, h5 and h6. Same way closing I have to write h6, h5, h4 and h3. This is tag 3, 4, 5 and 6 and now I can save this file. So, just I go to the file, click on save as, as it is notepad I will save it as a dot html file. So, I write heading dot html. Now, as we know to open this file I have to open my browser. Let us say I open Mozilla Firefox this is the browser which I frequently use. So, go to the alter f open file and open file I have to choose that I have just create heading tags heading dot html this file and if you click on open. So, this file has been opened. So, look at this is heading 1, this is heading 2, heading 3, heading 4 and so on. So, this is heading tag, heading 1 is the largest one, heading 6 is the smallest one. You can define alignment also, like alignment can be any position. Say for example, if I write h1 align is equal to center. So, this now I just save it and need to relo reload this page. So, you can get that h1 is now on center of my web page. Alignment can be center, left right etcetera horizontal alignment is available. So, this is example you can write anything such code in html next tag is p. p stands for paragraph and it is container type html has mainly two types of tag one is known as a inline tag another one is known as a block tag. So, block tag or container tag are same name container or black means block tag means another tag can be put inside that tag. Let us say for example, h 1. So, h 1 or p, p is a paragraph these all are block tag or container tag. So, inside that tag you can add another tag, but like say for example, b r tag. So, b r tag is used to break, break the line, but it is inline tag. So, this inline tag cannot embed another tag inside that particular tag. So, p is a container type or block level tag you can uh, add alignment also and if you write multiple time p's it will not create multiple blank lines because generally block level tags as you write it will put one line blank after it, but multiple p will not create multiple blank lines. If you want to use multiple blank lines you should use multiple times br tag and when you start p 
to open the paragraph to close the paragraph you can use slash p however slash p is optional this is example like you can write anything text or in it if i just copy and paste this program so that can be also used let's say for example i just create new file and i just need to write html tag html is case insensitive so either i write it capital letter small letter it doesn't make any difference for me i will save as p dot html and my file type should be all files now i save it let me open it or i can directly write it uh, if i know the path so i will write p dot html so look at this is paragraph now as i say though i create three times p it will not create three multiple lines but if i write three times br tag means break tag and i save it and just check it so look at this will be take multiple times of um, blank lines so this is the difference between p and br tag but it is very useful tag because to create a paragraph you can start one paragraph give its alignment and inside whatever your content you would like to write you can write it next is pre formatted text html is not formatted by default say for example if you write code such type of that but without pr if you write let's say if i write that code or let me open pre.html file if i created so it will be display as it is as i type if you want to see the code of this html file you can use shortcut key control u as well that will shows you the source code for your html file so inside here i use pr but if i remove the pr tag from my notepads pr.html file let me open it i just go to the pre.html file and i will open it and now if i remove pre pre stands for pre formatted so my tag should be pre formatted now i remove pr tag so html will display all this in the one same line i just reload it save it look at here it will be not pre formatted it will be considered as a continuous statement html will not even break the line until you explicitly told to do so so this pr tag is very handy when you want to format it some text so you should use pre tag or pre formatted tag next point is uh, special characters so html support many special characters like if you want to use uh, less than sign you should use ampersand lt semicolon to display the less than symbol same way for greater than ampersand quote and space and colors we have learned that many predefined colors as well as you can use hexadecimal value to display colors same way there is a one more attribute the attribute is called font because if you define inside body text is equal to color so that color will be applied to the whole body but you want to differentiate some sentence or something by some another color you should use font tag let's take one example say for example i will write create a new file and let's write our html code with body and in body we know that there is a one at attribute called text is equal to let me write red and write this is first line br this line color is let's say green now i save this file file save as 
है एंड आई विल सेव एज ए फोट डॉट एच टी एम एल जस्ट सेव इट एंड लेट एस ओपन फोन डॉट एच टी एम एल सो लुक एट एज आई डिफाइन इन माई दिस टेग टेक्स इज इक्वल टू रेड बोथ द लाइन विल डिस्प्ले इज ए रेड से फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई वुड लाइक टू डिफाइन दिस वन एज ए ग्रीन सो आई कैन राइट फोन एंड कलर इज इक्वल टू ग्रीन लेट मी सेव इट एंड जस्ट रीलोड दिस फाइल सो लुक एट दिस लाइन विल बी ग्रीन नॉट ओनली लाइन इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले ओनली द ग्रीन इन ग्रीन यू कैन राइट दिस कलर इज फोन ग्रीन दैट सेट सो नाव ओनली दैट पर्टिक्युलर ग्रीन विल बी डिस्प्ले इज अ ग्रीन बट अगेन यू शुड बी कोशियस वेन यू यूज बिकॉज नाव इफ आई राइट this line color is blue so i have not closed the font tag it will be again display as a blue uh, again display as a sorry green so it's better idea you should close your font as well and if you want to use new font you should define font and you write color is equal to blue and you should define slash font file save and reload so look at that will be works fine same way font tag has some other attributes like face by default browser has a times new roman font if you want to display some another font times new roman is a sans font but like arial or some other type sans serif font you want to use you can define that font family also or font face is equal to also let's say face is equal to if i write here arial so my that particular third line font will be change look at here this is sans font this is sans serif font i can zoom it to make show you very clearly difference between this two same way if you want to def determine size you can also determine size is also size well you can be 1 to 7 7 is considered maximum let's say if i define size is equal to 4 and click on save and reload so that line has a larger size so this is a various attribute that you can use with font tag so this is the same example i have just write it here deprecated elements is the world wide web consortium or w3c has initially defined this html tags at that time cascading style sheet or css is not used but in the near future or sorry in the before few years the css or cascading style sheet is frequently used so now no one use this attributes with font the reason is that if you define such font and you want to change in your html file consider you have one html application which consists of hundreds of pages so you need to change all these hundreds of lines but if you use style sheet and if you use external style sheet you need to just make one changes and the changes will be applied to all the pages even it is 1000 pages or 100 pages it doesn't make any difference to that that's why this is nowadays is deprecated element but still you can use this for your purpose now html supports many various types of order list mainly three types of order list one is known as a order list second one is known as a unordered list and third one is known as a data list let's start with order list so again i write very simple html code by html and body and inside body let me write order list so for that the tag is ol for order list inside order list you can write list insert let's say item 1 and slash li so one is list inserted is completed li 
item 2 here can be content can be any I write item 1 item 2 etc you can write whatever thing you like so I just save as this file as a ol dot html for order list and now let us execute it by typing here. So, look at here it will be type 1 and 2. Suppose you want not 1 and 2, but you want a b c d. So, you can type type is equal to a and I will save. So, now it will display as a a and b. One more thing you can do with that. Say for example, I want in alphabet 